Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, we will be designing an Oldham coupling mechanism using Onshape. The Oldham coupling is a versatile mechanical connection that allows parallel shafts to transfer motion while compensating for misalignment. So we get three parts. That shaft, that shaft over there, and the coupling in the middle. Let me show you that in an exploded view. Here. So we got that channel and that shaft that's, that is pretty much the same part, just rotated 90 degrees. And the axis is located at, a, at an offset from that axis. And in between is that coupling um, which fits nicely in here, nicely in there. Specials in the workflow I'm going to demonstrate are we will model this with only one sketch and we will be modeling the coupling with the enclosed feature. So let's get started. So here I am in an empty part studio. I start with the sketch on the front plane, press N for a normal view to that, P, hide all those planes, S for my shortcuts, take that two-point rectangle, start at the origin, and pull that out like this, add one more here, and with L and Q, I draw a construction line here just to be able to dimension um, diameters. So I start dimensioning, take that edge and give that a 44 millimeter dimension. Take that one here, give that 18. And now for those diameters, I take that edge, go over here, click, and um, give that an 18 millimeter. And for that one here, I do the same thing, and with 88. All right, so we got enough to rotate those two profiles to get that first shaft. But in that very same sketch, I want to define um, the channel here. So I pick that endpoint here, go over here, click here, and dimension that with that same 88 dimension, and give it a height of 6 millimeters. And believe it or not, that's enough for our three parts in terms of sketching. Okay, I enter, I exit that sketch. I go into a revolve, take that face, that one and that one. Axis is that one. I accept that. Rename my part, my solid part, first, um, shaft and just give it some distinct appearance that one I make that sketch one visible again and now um, I'll go into the extrude command hover over that um, cylindrical body go to select other Take that face here, do that once again here, select other here. Then the remove option with a symmetric, um, nah, option and a depth of 16 millimeters. All right. I'll hide that sketch for now, and now let's work on that second shaft. So 
um, I'll rotate that and go to mirror take that part over that mirror plane as a new body I will rename that part second shaft and change the appearance of that to yellow all right next let's take that transform command here pick our second shaft rotate that around that axis by 90 degrees accept that all right we get that here let's do that one more time um, with a transform feature pick that part translate by x y z here that's the z axis and let's move it minus six millimeters okay next let's uh, make a surface a ruled surface from an edge take that edge um, turn that around and give that whatever distance that covers this channel here there that's good whatever just an auxiliary surface for the next step so we go into and close pick that surface here pick that first shaft that second shaft let's keep the tools accept that let's hide that surface and voila we got the part here let me just hide those so there we get our part I'll call that the coupling and well um, I'll hide that surface we don't need that anymore and change the appearance of that okay make those other two parts visible again and well that's it for modeling so we can switch to the assembly tab go to insert take our part studio with all members and place that well I just remember that I applied some chamfers to that for aesthetics so we go back to the part studio to chamfer four millimeters pick that edge that one here that one and that one all right assembly there we got our parts let's pull those apart from each other and let's define that first made here at the origin accept that and now with the revolute mate I hover over that edge pick that z-axis turning that way that mate connector may we turn that around okay exit that just to see what that does animate it all right so that is rotating the way we want that okay now um let's um um place our coupling in this channel with the slider mate so i'll just um move that into position so that is well i can type in 90 degrees okay so i go to the slider mate take that edge at some at any point really 
just so that the z-axis is um, pointing in that direction. Then I take this one here, accept that, and there it is. Let's animate that as well. All right, so that as well does what it's supposed to do. Now we need one mate connector to um, now define the rotating axis, the axis for that shaft. For that, I want to point out something in our first sketch. I go back here, sketch one, edit that, normal view. So let's just measure with a dimension tool again from the origin over here. 62, it's in gray because it's a driven dimension. And now we remember that we um, transformed our second shaft. We moved it six millimeters over there. And then we got that shaft again at six millimeters. So it's 62 plus 12, which is 74. All right, let's keep that in mind. So I go back to the assembly. I um, define a mate connector with the origin, but we'll move that in the Z direction 74. Okay. And that would place um, the axis or that mate connector in that very same axis. But we want something different, right? So let's take that Y axis and move this mate connector to, let's say, 32 millimeters. And there it is. All right. You can see it here. Now, maybe I want to... I can hide that first shaft and that coupling for that next step. So we get this mate connector and we will define this with that cylindrical body on that surface. So um, I can as well define one mate connector here on that face. Maybe that makes it easier. And now I'll go again to the Revolute Mate. Take that one here. Take that one. Turn it around. Accept that. And exit the command. Now let's um, make that coupling visible again. And the next thing is that we will define again the slider mate between let's say that edge and that one so slider mate take that and take that take care that the z axis is in that direction accept that exit that and we should be done now make that first shaft visible again And turn it around, go to the Revolute, and animate that. All right, let's have a look. Front. So we see this is shaft two is revolving, shaft one is revolving, and coupling was doing the two things on the two axes at the same time, right? It's sliding, it's rotating. So that's it. 
we can have a look at that in the translucent mode here. We can press K on the keyboard to hide the mate connectors. We can change um, the, the animation. If we want more speed. We um, go to 200 steps. And that's it. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful in understanding how to design an old hem coupling using Onshape. Feel free to experiment and make adjustments to suit your specific requirements. Stay tuned for more exciting CAD tutorials. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for future updates. Happy designing!